All right, let's go to White Castle. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yep, let's go slowly to White Castle. <laughs> nah, they went to White Castle without us. God oh, damn well. it. Those fuckers. All right, well, now we've got Kasima's parents back. They're going to devise a plan, but now we have to devise a plan of our own. What do we do? Going in the opposite direction! <laughs> Fuck them, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah, screw, we just... screw them, let's go get some Taco Bell. There ain't no Taco Bell here. I what? There was. No Taco Bell? There's an old guy. No! With lamps. There's a black dude in there. Maybe he could make us something similar. Maybe he'll make some us fried, some KFC. Fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Our racism knows no bounds. <laughs> Good day, Prince Alexander. Blow my fucking cover, why don't you? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, dude. Alright, what are we giving him? What is that? Just, oh. just drink me, so let's get drunk on our sorrows. Let's, uh, let's, um... <laughs> Alexander is... <laughs> he's an attention whore. So now he has a plan to get everybody to notice him. Which apparently is a good idea. I I just can't go on anymore without Kasima. I'd just rather not live. Oh, I'm going to listen to some Linkin Park. <laughs> Prince Alex, no! <laughs> so Alexander's got this grand plan. It's true. The vizier has beaten me. I give up. Poison is my last resort. Oh, well. You're a fucking idiot, see, Alexander. Sad to see you go, Alexander. <laughs> I beg you, stop! <laughs> I'm sure throwing yourself into the sea will be a quicker and more effective method. No, he had to have a witness, and what better witness to witness a crime than this big old black dude? I know. Like, <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Drink it! I have uh, no more! Oh, Lord. <laughs> How'd them acting classes work out for you, Alexander? Really good? Looks like it. Oh, no! Don't make out with me while I'm passed out. <laughs> That was hardest stopping. <laughs> oh, what a waste! The poor young fool! And of course we did that because a certain person is in here watching. No, no. He's dead! He's dead! Dirt! Wait till Abdul hears! He'll be so pleased! Because we obviously know that that old guy is the genie now. We've seen it. Oh, he's jumping! Look at that old fool! Get out of here! Now he thinks we're dead. Several hours later, in a snowy... Oh. <laughs> Wrong game. Sorry. <laughs> so what do they do? It Like, teleport? Like, right in front of the guy outside? Ah, that dude's old. He probably doesn't know what he's seeing. Probably. I told you not to pop in like that! You can learn to knock like everybody else! No one knocks. Don't even lie. You don't have friends. But I was trying to masturbate in here, come on! Well, sorry, Master Doyle, I couldn't help myself, I have great news! <laughs> They're well, finally getting a Taco Bell! <laughs> what is it? I finally found myself a shirt! <laughs> Prince Alexander is dead, he killed himself in despair over losing Casima! <laughs> what? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. In bed. Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. Fortune. Fortune cookies. <laughs> Ill-fated one. <laughs> but I saw the whole thing myself, though. He really and truly was quite dead. Yeah, sure. Like my acting career. <laughs> hmm. If what you say is true, then it shall be most convenient. You've spent enough time on that little irritant. We must start thinking about the wedding. Dude, why did he just, like, kill him himself? I bet he wants to think about the wedding, because then he'd be blamed. He can't be blamed. Oh, Anything, but... mister? Ooh, I do love weddings. Ooh. Well, not if nobody you knows. Do. You know, throw him in the sea, you know, no body means not dead, so he can't prove anything. So, yeah, oh yeah, he it, just went it's home. It's safer for him to, to not have had a hand in it. Yeah, the, you know, even though he's, like, the guy is a little genie. bit smart. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Well, we do want to look your prettiest, don't we? <laughs> Whoa, I knew you were a faggot from the moment I looked at you, dude. I, I know. know. Not that I have anything against that. It's just, it was really obvious by the way you dress. Yep. Now, 
Shamir Shamazel, to the lamp with you. Prepare yourself, as we discussed. Prepare your asshole for tonight! <laughs> Booyah! So Get some master glad! He's gonna marry this dude instead? Well, happy ending. Into the bottle, which you should really take note of. Into the phallic symbol! <laughs> Hours later in the snow- oh. <laughs> Alexander's heart lurches to life in his chest. Blah. That just sounds gross. Prince Alex, but- but you were- Sorry, I was totally preparing to rape your hot dead body, but... Fuck Sorry, it. friend. Uh, I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Uh. Damn, damn, damn! Ah, uh, of course, the strange cloaked man. You're quite clever, uh, and a bit too exciting for an old man. Whoa. You got something you want to tell us there, bub? No wonder you're wearing them MC Hammer pants. It's to conceal <laughs> everything. All right, well. I think everybody in this game is gay. Pretty much. <laughs> Except the women. The, what two women there are in this game. <laughs> I know. Well, technically three, but Not she's yes. in the, like, bestiality, so... Yeah, that... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean three? Kasima's mother does not count. Okay, all right. Oh, would you mind if I traded this in? Huh? <laughs> all right, what are we gonna get now? What do we want? Of course, please choose something in exchange from the items on the counter. Yeah, look closely at the items. Yeah, whatever. Let's we get the pretty paint paintbrush. Brush. Let's do some graffiti. Yeah. It'll say, "I'm still alive, bitches." What? <laughs> Okay, grab <laughs> cross dresses. It's gonna say the vizier is gay <laughs> everywhere. We're just gonna we're gonna mark the whole town. <laughs> All right, feel free yep. to bring brush back. Yep, just bring back the evidence so nobody can ever pin it on you. That's right. <laughs> we'll pin it all on this guy because he'll be the one that owns it. <laughs> we'll oh, be like, yeah. Al Hazard is a doo doo head. <laughs> all <right in> the <laughs> walls. <laughs> now there's one more thing I think we have to do here. Yes. Yes. You don't need to save, do you? Oh no, you're just gonna get Not the lamp. That guy buys old lamps for new. Let's see if he wants this crappy lamp we found. Yep, we don't We're not really shit anymore. Uh, excuse me, peddler, huh? But I have an old lamp that might interest you. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably worth shit, but. Eh. Yeah. You know. We had like baby's tears and some crap swamp water in it, but I'm sure you want it now. Yep. Ah, an old lamp, and what a nice traditional design too. Take your pick of my new lamps. Uh, well, let's look. Now the trick is here is you've already seen a lamp that looks similar to the one that's here. Yeah, you have no. to pick that one. You know, is... you know, I, I kind of wish they they, they would have made it different every time, but it's always the same. It's a big blue one that looks like a penis. Mm, yep. The... Ironically so. <laughs> ah, fine choice, my son. Here's your new lamp. I can tell your business is doing well by your tattered clothes. Yep. Good day, and I thank you, sir. I don't know if that was my voice from earlier, but frankly, I don't care. <laughs> I don't think anyone was caring. I'm like changing my voice every three seconds. That was like eight years ago. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> and with that, he, old man, waddles off into the distance like he has a load in his pants. Except it takes forever because we're. He probably back. does have a load in his pants. You know, doesn't have any probably. toilet to go around. Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah, you rub that lamp in public. <laughs> oh yeah. Drat! Another died. What? Give it some Viagra. Yeah, really. I love how Alexander just knows what lamp to get. Bring so we've up. got a paintbrush. Are we going to do something special with it? Yep. Perhaps we are. I think there's one more uh, spell we haven't done. Yep. And there's something else we can do. Ooh! What is it? Oh, did I not get it? What are you looking for? Oh, I didn't get it. What is it? What? Um, the, the second rose. Yes, you did. I did? I thought we already sent it to her. No, because the bird's still here. Uh... I thought you did get one. I thought I did, too. What'd you do with it? Did we, like, fuck something up and had to redo it and I just forgot to get it again? We can go get it right now. Yeah, let's go get it right now. We kind of need to. Oops. Oh, well. I want a full Alexander score, goddammit. He decides to go pick some flowers instead. Yep. Pretty much. But everything is really pointing to that now. Everything. His slow, jaunty walk. <laughs> Not due to lag or anything, it's just because Alexander is very jaunty. His back boobs. Yep. His choice of yellow scarf. <laughs> 
the way he stutters when he speaks. His nail polish. <laughs> Alright, to the Isle of the Beast. Leg, you suck right now. Yeah, I could have sworn yeah, we got we got it the second time. I I thought you did too. I I know that you did. I get, did we restore or something? We we must have. Because oh, well. I, because I think I remember I almost left the screen and then I'm like shit I gotta go back. Oh fuck right. you leg. Yeah this is wow. Dirt. I'm no walking here. real slow. At least no one's here trying to fucking kill us anymore. Yeah, I think we just jump back there and grab one, hopefully. Bunny! Bunny stew. The way he dances around in hot water like a flaming homosexual. <laughs> The way he decides to encroach on palm people's property and pick their flowers <laughs> without asking. What in that fucking wall, man? Alright, we got a rose. Let's get the hell out of here. They're off probably having crazy beast sex. <laughs> oh, we oh, wait. know they are. <laughs> He's not a beast anymore. It's probably a beast in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> you know, if Beauty and the Beast taught us anything, it's that looks don't matter. Especially when you have a giant a lot wing. of money and a giant <laughs> fucking castle. <laughs> and that you're a prince. Anyway. Alexander pulls out his magic something. His magic pants. I'm sure he'd like to pull something else out of his pants. <laughs> Guys, that's like the whole point of the game. He's been trying to do that since we started. I know. But, you know, we can hardly blame the guy. I mean, his dad did the same thing. Pretty much. <laughs> Fell in love with Valenice, what, like, two minutes after he rescued her? It's Come like, on, yeah. man. Yeah. Hot redhead, I gotta fuck this chick. Now, I still haven't played all of King's Quest II. You haven't? I know, no, I know the story, and I've played the beginning, and I've seen the ending, but for myself, I haven't played the Oh, game, man. So. I know. And ironically, that's the only one we haven't done. Well, we haven't done seven, but I don't think we're going to. <laughs> All right, now that we have the fucking rose, cause seven is ridiculous. Yeah, see, 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 King Graham is into gingers. <laughs> Alexander holds out the rose, hoping the bird will deliver it. She will, probably. Maybe. Yoink! There she goes. At least Slowly. They actually, at least they actually drew the rose in the in the, the bird's mouth. So. Heads for the castle once more. To the drive-through. Oh, this isn't my hamburger. A white rose? Oh, how beautiful. It must be from Alexander. I wish I could see him with my own eyes. But Abdul will never allow it. Did you uh -huh. Just jump out the fucking window. <laughs> he only risked capture by sending me these things. Dear to my heart, though they are. Oh, fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. I'm gonna lick this now because he touched it. <laughs> Forgive me, Alexander. Oh, forget me. I cannot return your love, for I fear that I shall never leave this castle again. What the hell is stopping you from opening the damn door? It's your goddamn castle. Tie some sheets together. <laughs> Get down the. Really? Even Zelda and Princess Peach aren't that fucking, like, <laughs> retarded. They well, did something. Well, 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 to be fair, it, they do make a point in one of the endings that her door is locked from the outside, so she can't get out. But yeah, tie some fucking sheets together. Tie some fucking sheets together, bitch. <laughs> Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? Or does Cosima simply not welcome his attentions further? No! Boy, you really are a Debbie Downer. <laughs> you just assume the worst. <laughs> Or maybe it could be that she's only met you for like five minutes and she's changed her mind and realized that you're a creeper. She realized she's a woman. That's the problem. Honestly. God. Alexander, is that a sock in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> it's a roll of dimes. Alright, well, the dogs aren't going to let us in for sure. Yep. So, But they're not going to mind us walking around the castle. I know. Everything's fine. I'm just uh, taking Alexander, a get on the screen. Thank you. Ugh, this is just ridiculous. 
So actually, we, we came here in the way beginning, but there didn't look like there was anything to do. But there is. We have one more spell we can look at. Blum, blum, blum. Lamest joke ever. I get it. <laughs> We don't need no education. I no, remember people are gonna get that, but whatever. I remember we were like in like about fourth fourth grade or so. Um, you know, back when they were doing like drug PSA shit. Um, they actually had us for like some kind of mini concert. Um, sing a version of that song that had to do with uh smoking and how bad it is. Like they rewrote the lyrics. <sighs> Nice. That's yeah. awful. <laughs> I probably should have looked at the book to show this off, but we all know what it fucking says. There's a paint spell. Remember, we got some things in the cup. We got some of the river sticks ooze, and we're stirring it with the feather from the horse. To his amazement, the jet black color, blah, blah, blah. The teacup mixture back. blackens and thickens to a paint-like consistency. Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. Okay. Now we have paint. We're going to graffiti up this wall. How dare you throw away Derpy's feathers? My feathers. I don't want to use it on the fucking wall. I want to read it, you bitch. Why would Alexander want to read anything? <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to click it on my fucking self and it thinks I'm touching the wall. Oh, that's the... the oh, because that's the wrong uh, book. Uh, Yeah. That's the wrong book. <laughs> Whoops. No, no wonder why. Whoops. Alexander's tired. Reading takes a lot out of him. Yep. Yes. And my cat is clawing my TV in the background. The old Damn shitty one. Damn you, TV! It's the old shitty one. It's like older than Josh Jepson. I'm dead serious. Uh, <laughs> well, Josh Jepson is not very old. I think we can both agree on this. Magic to... paint spell. Paint. Got all things. Then let's uh. Oh, we get no, you have, you have to paint, paint the first. fucking thing first. Yeah, I remember doing the same thing. I was thinking we had. Can I exit out of this fucking thing? What? Uh. There we go. Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, I was thinking we had to enchant the paint. No, no, no. You enchant. You enchant the thing that you paint afterwards. All right, let's do some painting. Graffiti art. Abdul is gay. G H E Y. <laughs> Feeling artistically inspired, Alexander paints some shit. Yeah. Alexander, that's not the right thing. <laughs> Alexander, stop. <laughs> I drew a penis. <laughs> a doorway. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. Not exactly what I call artistically inspired. Oh well. You didn't paint the doorknob, you fucking shithead. Yeah, haven't you seen Beetlejuice? Gotta do it. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Really? They played it like a million times over like three weeks ago. Well, I don't have cable. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you could probably watch it on YouTube or something. <laughs> the only thing I use my TV for is to record Final Fantasy IV. I'm dead serious. Ooh. I'm sorry. All right, let's make this incantation work. I love how, like, he's, like, taller than the door. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. He's used to stooping over, if you know what I'm saying. They, they like to use the word trepidation with Alexander. Right. They do. Gathers a strength to say this. Magic paint, black as ink, bring to life what I think. Make it real what I draw, according to this spoken law. That's oh. racist! Oh, it's like a portal. Okay. Now it's a wooden door. Hooray! Don't work. Door is magically solidified. Yay, this is our way in. But it has no fucking handle on it, Alexander. It's Fine, he'll figure it out. Brent. Fidel, what are you doing? Sorry, my cat. Open the enchanted door. Open sesame! Oh, wait, wrong game. Okay, so... Slowly. There we go. We're inside. Oh yeah. Oh! How magic fucking door. convenient. Fades back into the wall. So much for an easy exit. No, we're stuck in here. Great. Let's open a random door and hope we don't get cut. Eh, there's lots of doors. Looks like we're in a dungeon area. Yep, please. Right now. Alexander fails so hard he's already throwing himself in a fucking dungeon. 
Well, it's nicer than my old bedroom. Whoa. Mother! Mother, where are you? She's in hell, goddammit! Who the hell is that? Kid, I can see through you. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, what's the matter, little boy? Uh. Stranger danger! <laughs> Don't look. I'm lost. I can't find my mother. Um... I don't know why she would just leave me here. I've been alone ever so long. Dude, you're dead. Apparently long enough for you to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, if you so recall, I think we saw a ghost in the realm of the dead a long time ago that was looking for her son. Yeah. How fucking she convenient that we should actually run into him. Ooh, spider. Well, you can skip this if you don't go in here, right? Like, you um, can miss it. You actually have to talk to him because you can't get in into what he tells you unless you talk to him. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead, huh? She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. Oh, good. I'm sure the kid's gonna be happy about that. Yeah, it's fun. Good yeah, job, Alexander. Yeah, you're Tackle. fucking dead, by the way. Yeah. Man, that kid has been on some serious drugs. Look how high he is, man! It's Mama's. It even smells like her. I can feel her now. I know where to go. That is the latest crock of shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Gross. Wait, before you go, uh, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? <sighs> and finally, for once, Alexander does something intelligent. I like to play in secret places. In the basement, behind the Man of Steel, is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know. want to know what other secret places you play in, kid. Alexander likes to go behind men, so we're, we're fine. We're good. Thanks for the help. Take your ghostly shit and get out of here. I, I, I would totally like to point out that in the, um, the King's Cross Companion, yeah. um, he does point out that Alhazard does know about the secret passage, and he, like, spies on Kasima through there. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. It's in there. Gross. I'm serious, man. Figures. Right. Now then. Now let's go this way! Woot! You can still get caught down here, so you need to yeah. be careful. Oh. You have a few means to getting out, so... Yeah. Let's pick another random door! Boy, this place is not very well guarded. I guess they really think that Alexander's dead and they don't care Yep. Anymore. That's why you gotta do that. Yeah, instead of listening at the door, looking in the keyhole, we're just gonna barge right the now fuck we're just gonna in. Barge right in. It's fine. Oh, look who it is! Hey! MC Hamster! <laughs> did I do his voice the last time? Yeah. What did I do? The Prince Alexander! I can't believe it! How did you get into the castle? Uh, well, I... Uh, it's actually a little hard to explain. Because uh, you're definitely not smart enough. I know. I bet you're running terrible risk being here. The castle is crawling with guard dogs. Especially today. The vizier will have your hide if he finds you. Yeah, as if uh, crawling you mean completely non-existent. <laughs> yeah, we really saw a lot of them on the way here. Yep. I know that, Jalo, but Kasima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? He knows he's the one that told you. Of course you're right, young love. I forget what heartburn it is. But what do you propose to do about it? Dude, who cares if she's married? I want to fuck her anyway. I've got to try to see her, huh? And maybe stop the wedding, even. <laughs> oh my god, stop the wedding? Wow, Alexander, you're bright. I know. <laughs> Oh, is that all? And here I thought you'd do try something dangerous. Oh. Yeah, no, Alexander's too much of a pussy for that. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, don't worry about me, friend. Just tell me, where is Kasima? Uh, where the fuck do you think she is? I've got the weirdest boner right now. <laughs> as far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You'd never make it up there, though. The guard dogs are everywhere, and they're very loyal to the crown. Unfortunately, right now, the crown means a hazard. Uh, no, why does... Uh, that doesn't make any sense. She's the fucking princess. Like, seriously. If we had proof of something truly foul, the guard dogs might listen, as it is. They're your enemies, not his. 
Hmm, where are we gonna find that? How about he's a fucking bastard? That's good enough for me. <laughs> I understand. I've had no lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, you'd almost think I wasn't welcome. Oh, Alexander, you're so funny. Oh my god. What would ever make you think that, Alexander? Your sarcasm is gripping. I know. Ha ah, ha! And they say princes have no sense of humor! Well, I see there's no putting you off. For Kasima's sake, I wish you luck. I'll be here if there's anything you need. There is something. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, John. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Jala did say when we talked to him in the bookstore that, you know, if he could get the, his hands on the genie's lamp, they may have a chance. Well, we have a lamp that looks exactly like it. How about that? Stick it up his butt. <laughs> That's oh, right, I'm I saw so that. lame. Oh, I've been thinking about what you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. Uh, I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Uh, do you think it'll pass? My butthole? <laughs> yep, it'll fit in there. <laughs> Your butthole needs to be this big! What a fantastic butt plug! <laughs> Why, yes, it's an exact replica! The only other lamp that looks like a fucking dildo in town! That's amazing! How did you guess? <laughs> I don't think we want to answer that. <laughs> I'm about to open a soda bottle, it'll probably make noise. Whoops, sorry. I suppose it was intuition! <laughs> I bet it was! Man, this thing writes itself! I know! <laughs> Oh, I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you, but I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And no one should be the riser. Now you'll still seek Jalo's skill of handling phallic objects. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure your hands are mightier than my sword, my clever friend. Whoa! That was I was waiting for that line! <laughs> <laughs> that was on his personal ad online, I saw it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and do as you planned and let me worry about swapping a lamp. If I accomplish the trickery, I'll manage to get the lamp to you somehow. Never fear, I'll, sh I'll hide it in my ass. Like last time. <laughs> oh, Lord, yeah. is this almost over? <laughs> this LP needs to die. <laughs> Just really bad. <laughs> you know how many times I've played this game and I haven't realized how like much you can read into this until now? <laughs> I have faith, Joe. You're a true friend. This is really a really homophobic one. I'm sorry. This one's just it's because Alexander, really. Oh, sucks. I'd do anything for the princess. Ooh. She makes me feel young again. Here, I'm gonna walk like it's already up my ass just to show you that I can do it. Oh, brother. Well, that's <sighs> that. The ferryman gives Alexander semen. <laughs> Wait, never mind. No one's watched that, I hope. <laughs> there he goes! So jaunty and so purple. MC Hammer. You can't touch this. <laughs> Alright, where do we go now? After the computer size, that we can go somewhere. Game? Why did we have to wait for him to open the fucking door? Game? Oh my god, we have to wait for him to get up there? Oh, come yes. on. They could have just had him disappear. Nobody would have cared. Right. Anyway. <clears throat> oh. You can't. You just can't. <laughs> This LP can't be over fast enough. Because <laughs> this game is just ridiculous. 